हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट डायबिटीज मेलिटस आई होप एवरीवन इज फैमिलियर विथ डायबिटीज मेलिटस सो लेट्स डिस्कस अवर टुडेज टॉपिक डायबिटीज मीन्स इंक्रीज ग्लूकोज लेवल इन द ब्लड एट फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डेफिनेशन डायबिटीज मेलिटस इज ए डिजॉर्डर इन हुईच द बॉडी डज नॉट प्रोड्यूस्ड इनफ और रिस्पॉन्ड नॉर्मली टू इंसुलिन causing blood sugar level to be abnormally high so it is a disorder or disease in which the body does not produced or fail to produce enough insulin resulting glucose level abnormally high in the blood next comes to the types of diabetes mellitus mainly there are three types type 1 diabetes type 2 diabetes and gestational diabetes at first we will know what is type 1 diabetes Type 1 diabetes is a condition in which our body immune system destroy insulin making cell in pancreas. Next type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is a chronic disease. It is characterized by high level of sugar in the blood. So in type 1 diabetes the body does not produced enough insulin and in type 2 diabetes the body produced insulin but it cannot use properly. Third is gestational diabetes. gestational diabetes a temporary condition in pregnancy a form of high blood sugar affecting in pregnant women next we will discuss about the causes of diabetes mellitus first is due to infection second is genetic means if any member of your family has diabetes then there is a chance of you getting diabetes mellitus next is food and lifestyle abnormal functioning of liver obesity means overweight abnormal functioning of pancreas smoking high blood pressure and autoimmune disease next comes to the risk factors risk factors includes family history obesity poor diet gestational diabetes in pregnant women physical inactivity and regular exercise next comes to the signs and symptoms first is increased thirst blood vision unexpected weight loss increased fatigue polyuria polyuria means passing abnormally large amount of urine frequent urination frequent urination means urge to pass urine more than normal tender gums and swollen skin itchy and irritability so these are the signs and symptoms of diabetes mellitus next comes to the complications first is cardiovascular disease means heart disease nerve damage kidney damage eye damage infection foot damage and hearing impairment next we will talk about diagnosis tests in diabetes mellitus first is history collection at first we should collect the history regarding patient and his or her family members next physical examination urine analysis means urine test blood test fasting blood sugar test means before taking food we should give the blood for checking glucose level in the blood random blood sugar test means after 2 hours of taking food we should give blood for checking glucose level in the blood next glucose screening test Glucose screening test is a test in which you will drink a liquid that contains glucose and then one hour later your blood will be drawn to check your blood sugar level and last is glucose tolerance test Glucose tolerance test is a lab test to check how your body moves sugar from the blood into tissues like muscles and fat Fasting blood sugar level less than 100 mg per dl is normal 100 to 125 mg per dl indicates pre diabetes above 126 mg per dl indicates you have diabetes in random blood sugar level less than 140 mg per dl is normal 140 to 199 mg per dl indicates pre diabetes and above 200 mg per dl indicates you have diabetes Next comes to the prevention of diabetes mellitus. At first lose extra weight, be more physically active, 
eat healthy plants food eat healthy fats skip fat diets and make healthier choices do exercise drink plenty of water avoid junk food stop smoking and stop drinking alcohol so these are the prevention of diabetes mellitus next we will discuss about treatment first is nutrition therapy nutrition therapy means a treatment based on nutrition it includes checking a person's nutrition status and giving the right food or nutrients food to treat the condition second is exercise third is medication medication such as metformin fortamate and glumedza next is insulin therapy insulin is a hormone that produced by the pancreas insulin therapy is an important part of diabetes treatment the goal of taking insulin is to keep our blood sugar level in normal range last is self monitoring of blood glucose level next comes to the nursing management assess the general condition of the patient do physical examination give medication as per doctor's order like metformin check for input output chart advise the patient to take nutritional food advise the patient to drink plenty of water so this is all about diabetes mellitus